Hi friends, good morning. So we, oh, oh God, we need ice crunching. Maybe let me turn these heat down a little bit so you can hear me better. We are waiting to get Starbucks in the Starbucks line right now. And then we're gonna go to the bins and hopefully find some good stuff. And then we will have a haul later on. Hold on one second. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have Thank a good day. You're too beautiful. <clears throat> so we got like a foot and a half, I would say, at least of snow at my house yesterday. And it snowed everywhere, it looks like, but I'll put some footage in somewhere in this video of the the pretty snow in the mountain so you guys can see. But okay, let me turn this off so I can safely make it to my destination. <laughs> I just want to say quickly that it is a brisk six degrees outside and people are already lining up. There's already four people lined up at the door of the bins and there are seven minutes until they open. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Let me, let me show you the, um, the mountain. Look how pretty in the moon. Hi friends, so we made it back home. Uh, the bins was, I mean, I got some good stuff, but it was a little rough. My headphones died like 30 seconds into me walking into the bins and I hate going to the bins with all my headphones. Um, it's just a lot of like noise, a lot of, just a lot going on. And I feel like when I have my headphones on, I can just really focus on what I'm doing and not what anybody else is doing. Uh, and there were a lot of people there, especially, and it surprised me, especially because it was so cold, like so cold, and then we had got so much snow, so anyways, but, so I have 30-ish pieces to show you guys, and then I did want to update you on some of the things that sold, a few things sold from some of my previous hauls, so I'll put them right here on the screen so you can see them again. Um, so first, this Lululemon jacket sold. It sold for 70 and I'll make 56 Next, the those little cute felt ornaments sold. I put them all together in a lot and they sold for 40 and I'll make 29 And last, that Zara pink knit maxi dress sold for 50 and I'll make 40 So those are all pretty good. I'm really happy with all those sales, especially because they were all bins items. Speaking of bins items... Let's get into today's haul. But before I do that, I did want to mention I ordered a microphone. I really did. Uh, but I didn't look at what I was ordering. And I ordered one for an Apple. And I do not have an Apple. So I had to send that back. And right now, Amazon is um, in the process of sending me my new one. So it should be here tomorrow. So hopefully, videos moving forward after. This one will have microphone sound, so hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Sorry, I keep touching my hair. It's really bothering me right now. Okay, so let's get into the haul. First, I got this cute little coach bag. Sometimes I, I feel like people at my bins think that coach bags aren't real when they don't have a creed inside. This one is just plain on the inside. There's no creed. I have it stuffed right now so you guys can see it better. It's got a few pen marks, but this was just like thrown back into clothes. Um, like I said, it has a few pen marks, so maybe that's why somebody threw it back. Also, it's missing, you know, the crossbody strap, but I feel like that's okay. This is cute to hold like that or like this. Little coach bag. I don't know, I couldn't leave that to bend. And, and the, the wear on the handles is not that bad, so. Not bad at all. Next, I got this blanket. I love this blanket. I feel like this is totally something that like anthropology or free people would sell. And I don't know anything about it. There's no tags, which is kind of what I was hoping for. I was hoping it wasn't like a branded thing, but, and that somebody actually made it. But look at how pretty that is. I don't know if you can really, yeah, look at all the flowers on the actual fabric and then it's got like these crochet squares and then the edge is like, 
not scallop, I don't know what you'd call that, but it's real, maybe I guess it is scalloped. Super pretty, and it looks like it's a pretty big size, too. I haven't measured it yet, but I mean, it's definitely big enough to be like a bed topper or something, but if anybody knows anything about blankets like this, please let me know. I am new into like the vintage bedding and quilts. sourcing so <laughs> if anybody knows anything about this I would love to know okay next I got this Zara little cropped sweatshirt with this crazy sleeve detail I think it's cool it's a size medium Then I got this dress. This has no brand, and I would assume it's handmade. It's got like this little trim on the bottom. But it's giving very like prairie, calico, cottage core, all of the above. And it's interesting, it was in the, uh, but also the fabric is why I like it. Tiny, tiny little flowers. And then this is pretty too. It was in the Halloween section apparently at the regular store before it came to the bins. I probably would have spent $6.99 on this. So that was fun to find. This is a really exciting find. I'll probably put a, a picture somewhere on the screen right here so you guys can see it better. But this is a Christmas silk vintage Ralph Lauren scarf. I've never found anything quite like this. I always love finding vintage Ralph Lauren though. Here's a little actual tag, but in case th this might have fallen off, it actually says it in the graphic somewhere too, I think. Yeah. Right there. Also, a good telltale sign that you should take a second look at a vintage scarf, especially at the bins is this hand rolled edge right here that's not done by machine it's done by hand and that's a really good telltale sign that it's something you might want to take a second look at and it's not perfect but that's what you want so i'm really excited to see how this does next i found this cute wool like midi skirt yeah, probably wear it like high waist and it's like right below your knee. But I like that it has like these contrast brown buttons and it's, well somebody, somebody dry cleaned it for me in 1996. This is Summit of Boston. I've never heard of that brand and it's a size 8. The back is just plain. But I thought this was good like fall or winter staple. They wanted... $5.99 at the regular store, and probably I would have paid $5.99 for that at the regular store. Next, another skirt. This is a fun one. This, I, I feel like I've, I'm finding myself picking up things more for what they look like rather than the brand because Liz Claiborne is definitely not a brand that I'm excited to find at the bin usually, but. I really like this midi skirt. It's pleated, it's houndstooth, and it's really nice like neutral colors. It's a size four petite. It's also a wool blend, so that's nice. The regular store wanted $6.99 for it, and probably I would have paid that at the regular store, but I'm glad to have found it at the bins. <clears throat> Next. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? Little blue velvet with like this lace detail and these little rosettes. Also, I think it's wild that that's how we used to put details on infant clothing safety pins. Every single one of these little rosettes is on there with a safety pin. Um, this one has no brand, no size, no nothing, but so cute and you can tell it's old 
you can date something by the zipper sometimes. So that says Holly and it's a metal zipper. So I'll put somewhere on the screen what, what date a Holly metal zipper could maybe help date this too. But I think this will do really well. I love the color of this one. Next is another fun little, little kid's dress. This is a 4T and it's by Little Precious. I don't know what brand that is, but I really love the lace on this one. Look how cute and the little sleeve matches the trim on the collar and the back. Oh, and the regular store wanted $3.99 for that. I definitely would have paid $3.99 for that. Next, t-shirt. This is a vintage, what, what year? 94, there you can see, 1994, Baltimore Colts t-shirt, Canada football team. So that's kind of cool. And then the vintage starter t-shirt. I'm from Baltimore. I was born in Baltimore. So that's kind of cool to find. The back is just plain. And it is single stitch. That is single stitch for those of you who don't know. And also speaking of Canada, um, if you are looking for another YouTuber to watch, I'll put on the screen here. You should watch Miss Philly. Uh, I've been watching Miss Philly for years now and she always posts great thrifting reseller content so if you go give her a watch and a follow <clears throat> um next this this is so cute so i'm a 90s baby and i i used to like love the animaniacs this is obviously handmade and i loved the back like if <laughs> if this was my size i would love something like that to wear. So cute. I don't know what size it is, but like I said, it's a kid, kid size. It's handmade, so maybe like a small. All right, now I'm gonna put the next stack up here. Okay, halfway through. Next we got this. This is just like a neon pink Adidas golf polo. It's UPF 50 rated, which I don't really know if that means anything to anybody but um and it's a size medium new with tags i just couldn't leave it at the bins they wanted 14.99 for it at the regular store and i definitely would not have paid that at the regular store next oh these are <laughs> old reliable well used to be made well shorts they are the high-rise denim shorts size 29 i would have loved to find these at the bins a few years ago there was a, like a time where I was spending hundreds of dollars on Madewell jeans at the thrift store because the thrift store usually prices jeans at around nine, nine to twelve dollars, and Madewell jeans would sell like that. So I would just buy them up, and then that changed. <laughs> uh, next, oh no, hold on, let me fix this. Vintage Parka. It is by Intersport Style. And it's a size 44. And then it has this like patch on it. I have no idea anything about this, but it was really lightweight, like I said. I have no idea if this fur is real or not. I can't even tell by feeling it. And there's no like interior tag, so I'll have to do some research about this one. Next, this is always very exciting to find. Vintage Victoria's Secret gold label. This is a little bit older than the last one I showed you guys. And it's purple and it's lace, and I feel like this will do really well. Next, I got this suit. This was in an e-commerce bin at the bins. Um, it looked like e-commerce had tried to sell it online and didn't or couldn't for whatever reason. It's a brand new uh, men's suit and it has a $500 price tag on it. I don't think I'm gonna get $500 for it, not even close, but the last suit I had new with tags did really well and this is a size 
48 small. I will be posting this on eBay for sure. Next, I got a pair of new with tags Abercrombie shorts. This is the 4 inch mom short. And when I found these, it made me so happy because I remember being a kid and going into Abercrombie and like the size large was like tight on me. And I remember like that was the only store that a size large was tight on me. So now that they're so size inclusive, it makes me so happy. And obviously, this is new with tags if I didn't say that already. And they are size 36. I don't know if I said that either. <laughs> they're, they are size 36, 22. Yeah. And the retail is $60. <clears throat> Next, I've never found this brand, so I'm very excited to see how this does. This is a bra by Agent Provocateur. It's so pretty. It's like a teal color, and it's a size 32E. So we'll, we'll see how that does. It looks like nothing at all is wrong with it. So that's awesome. Next, Miss Nyleen gave me this skirt. I don't know when this is from, but I've never seen a skirt like this. This is by Adidas. It's like a pleated little, I don't know. I feel like you can almost put this to work. I don't know, but I thought it was cool. And it's a size medium. Next, this is also something that was in the e-commerce bin. Um, and you can unfortunately tell it's lived its life at the bins for a little while. It's got some stains on it. But this is a pair of Tess Giberson pants. They are brand new and they have a $475 price tag on them. They're the wide leg pant, and I've never found this brand before, so I have no idea, but it's like interesting. They have like a, a zipper right here on the side for a pocket, and they feel really nice, but like I said, like it's not really coming up on camera. Maybe it is, I don't know. They have some like marks that look like they came from just, you know, living at the bins, so I don't know if I'm gonna have to cut the tag off and wash them, or what I can do, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, Tess Giberson. We'll see how that does. Okay, next, another suit. This is a Michael Kors men's suit. Let me see. Yeah. I've never tried to sell a Michael Kors men's suit, but like I said, the other suit I had, the brand was not that impressive to me, and this is a name brand, so we'll try this one. It was $6.99 at the regular store. I probably would have looked up comps first before I paid $6.99 for this the regular show, but that doesn't sound like a book that bad of a price. <clears throat> Next, this is a Lauren Ralph Lauren tiered silk skirt, and I really like the paisley. I feel like this is like a good fall skirt. It's a size 4. And we got this Filson. This was like super lightweight. Maybe it's like a fishing shirt, I'm not sure, but button-up shirt by Filson, size small. Some Lululemon shorts. I think these are what, the Hottie Hot or the Run Fast or something like that. Um, and they are a size 6. This... So when I first saw all this in the bins, I thought I had found a bunch of money, like literally, because every single one of these is a button that looks like a real quarter. Like they look so real. They don't feel real, like, but they look real. And they are everywhere. I mean, and then look at the front, like, I don't know, I don't... I googled this just because I've never seen anything like it. Christine Thompson. I googled Christine Thompson quarter sweater and nothing came up. So I don't know if somebody made this. It's got shoulder pads too. Yeah. So. Very interested to see how this does. Quarter sweater. My money sweater. Next is a Zynga, which is Ermengilda Zynga. 
see if I can get that to focus. This is a linen button front shirt. This is so nice. It is a size medium. Next, a Peter Millar men, or men's women's vest, and it's new. It does have this embroidery on there, but it's a golf something or other, so I don't really think that matters. It's a size small. And some more Lululemon. These are, I believe they're the Wonder Under Legging. They're a really pretty olive green and they are a size 10. A size dot in the zipper pocket, for those of you who don't know, is it a place to look? Next, men's cool little pullover jacket, so it's medium. Or wait, oh no, it's full zip, it's not pullover. This is a nice one. Then, we got this. OSU. <laughs> We're, we're uh, a Miami household over here, so, but any, nevertheless, this is a cute little sweater, vintage. There's a tag, size extra large, the back is just plain. Next, I got another sweater. This is super cool, and I feel like somebody took a lot of time to make this. Oh, I'm trying to tee backwards, hold on. Okay, so it's a hood. And then it's got a kangaroo pocket. It's got like this really nice bottom trim, the cuff, and then the sleeve cuffs too. I'm trying to like, <laughs> here we go. Maybe I'll put a picture in so you guys can see it better, but I feel like this is really cool. And it's kind of like giving me that, the vibes of that cardigan I was wearing the other day. Okay, and then lastly, my heart skipped a beat a little bit when I first saw this because I thought it was a Ralph Lauren sweater, but it was not. This one sleeve has a stripe down the side. This one sleeve has another flag. And then the back also has a flag, so it's double-sided. It's a turtleneck. It does need a little help, as you can see, like the fabric. But I'll sweater shave that and that'll be fine. And this is by world of wool i didn't even look this up i just bought it i know somebody will buy this but so i'll keep you posted on that one as well so that's all the stuff i got today um i hope you guys enjoyed this haul like i said the bins are a little rough but i did end up getting quite a few things so now i have to get busy and get them posted so i can sell them and make some money back if you guys made it this far in this video and wouldn't mind hitting the like button on your way out. I would really appreciate it. See you next time, friends.